Good afternoon. Rants from a vet here or a vet for life. I have a question for you. Do you still watch CNN after they decided to attack the troops after their interaction with President Trump? All right. That's a low blow. You may not like President Trump, but why attack the troops? Why even talk about something that they have no knowledge about? Would I talk about CNN policy that they create for their employees without even knowing anything about it? They are suggesting that troops be punished for their interaction with the president when President Obama did the same exact thing by signing things, autographing articles. When I speak of articles, I mean anything like books, shirts, napkins, clothing, hats, whatever. But that's not the point. The point is that the interaction between the troops and the president was quite legal. It wasn't with another candidate that's going to be running for president in 2020, in which, yes, definitely so. Pretty sure that would be a clear and present violation of UCMJ. And if you don't know what UCMJ is, that's a problem here. Why would you support a company that attacks the troops? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like go online. Go look. Just just go on YouTube and type in CNN attacks the troops. I have no problem with interacting with people outside of the military. I retire in 2020, so obviously I'm going to be a civilian again. And really, I'm a civilian now, but I'm just happy to be in the army and I'm a soldier, I am a service member. But I don't have a problem with interacting with civilians right now until they start dictating military rules or regulation to service members when they don't even know, when they're actually wrong. That's what it is. This is just an attack on the troops. All right, folks, that's, that's all I have. God bless America.